Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the trees are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. We sure do miss you here at Bible Hour. But this morning, we're going to talk about something really special. Love. And see how your love and what God love does for us. But first, let's see what Word Bird. Word Bird, are you here this morning? Hi, teacher. Hi, Word Bird. How are you doing? Great. You know what we're going to talk about today? The word love. L-O-V-E, love. I love you, teacher. Thank you, word bird. I, I love you, too. And Jesus loves us both. Oh, I knew that, teacher. Jesus loves everyone. Big people, little people, even people who aren't very nice. Why would he do that? Because everyone needs to hear the good news about Him, and Jesus cares for them. Yeah, but mean people are just mean. That's right. Mean people steal. That's right. They cheat. That's also right. And they might sneak up while I'm sleeping and pluck my tail feathers for a pillow. Now, now, Word Bird, calm down. Or a pretty hat. Now, calm down, Word Bird. Or a Warbird. I will never let that happen. Oh. Thanks, teacher. Jesus knows all about what people need and what they need to do. The nice ones and the mean ones. Can I peck the mean ones? No, Warbird. But Jesus loves the nice people the most, right? No. Think about it. Jesus loves you, me, right. But everyone the same. Well, of course. We're kind and helpful and clever. And we're both totally nice. But we are not nice all the time. Never, even a little bit. Sometimes we can be selfish and snobby. Um, well, there was that one time. Yes. I nibbled a whole entire bag of cheese crackers all by myself. I didn't share one. Well, what do the other birds think about that, word bird? They said I was selfish. Well, I'm sure glad Jesus loves me even when I blow it. Jesus is always ready to forgive and show love. And he will forgive anybody? You bet. Even the not-so-nice people? The not know so nice people, the nice people, the big and the small people, anyone, Jesus will forgive and show love to. And those that are just a little bit cuckoo? And yes. And because Jesus loves everyone, he can help you, word bird. Well, I can share my crackers with my friends, my old friends, and my new friends. That's correct. That's great, word bird. Now is an example of our fruit of the Spirit. Goodness and faithfulness and love. Goodness, huh? I love trying to be good, especially in my own tree, in my own nest. I think I will go sit in my nest and listen to the Bible lesson for today. Bye, everybody. Bye, Word Bird. Boys and girls, let's say a prayer this morning to talk about God's love. 
Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for the love you've given us, and thank you for the love you show us every day. Help us to be a reflection of that and show love to our parents and to our friends and anyone we come across to. Help us to always be kindness and goodness and show people your fruit of the Spirit in us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, boys and girls, let's see if Leroy and Lucy up here. Leroy, are you here? Hi, teacher. How are you today? Good, Leroy. How are you? I am doing great. L Leroy, where are you, young man? I want to talk to you right this minute. Oh, no. I'm in big trouble now. I bet she found out that I got into that big chocolate cake she made today. It looks so good. I just couldn't help myself. Leroy, where are you? In here, Mom. Did you need me? Uh, yeah, Leroy, here you are. I baked the big chocolate cake to take to the neighbors tonight. You did? Yes, I did, and someone had cut a huge piece of it and eaten it. Then they made a smiley face in the frosting with their finger. Oh, that's terrible, Mom. Whoever did that ought to get in trouble super big. Well, Reloy, did you get into my chocolate cake? Um, no, Mom. I sure didn't. I wouldn't dream of doing something like that. Well, do you know who did it? Sure. Lucy was in here a few minutes ago, and I smelled chocolate on her breath, and she had crumbs all over her dress. I bet Lucy did it. Well, it sure sounds like she did. Well, I'm going to go find her and see what she has to say for herself. I bet she's gained five pounds. I would never eat that much cake. It'd probably make me sick. Well, you're a good son, Leroy. I'm glad I can count on you. Bye. Whew. I got out of that one easy. I just let Mom think Lucy did it. She probably deserves to get in trouble anyway. It will be so funny. Mom will believe me, I know. I think I blame Lucy more often. That chocolate cake was delicious. Mm-mm, good. I wish I had another big chunk of it. The neighbors will have plenty of cake without this one. Oh, here comes Lucy, the little green bean. This is going to be so funny. Hey, Lucy. Come over here. Leroy, Mom just got on to me for eating chocolate cake. Well, serves you right. You should ask before you chow down. Yes, but that's just it. I didn't eat, get into the chocolate cake. Oh, well, one little yelling, that's no big deal. But Mom said she got on to me, and then when Dad gets home, he's going to get on to me, too. Uh... But I don't want to be in more trouble, and now I can't go to Sally's birthday party this afternoon, and I really wanted to go. All of that for one slice of cake? Yes, and Mom says I have to miss Girl Scouts this week, and we are having a camp out and everything. I have a new bedroll, and we were going to earn badges and go hiking. That's really too bad, Lucy. Maybe the dog got into the cake. We could blame the dog, you know. Our dog can't use a knife, and I don't think he could make a smiley face on top of the cake. What makes Mom think that you did it? Well, she said a little birdie told her. I wish that little birdie would tell the truth. Leroy... I don't like being in trouble, and Dad's going to be home any minute. I feel terrible for you, Lucy. Well, I feel worse than terrible. Who do you think got into the cake? Maybe Grandpa? No, he's out of town. Hmm, Uncle Joe? No, he's at work. It has to be someone that's been here today. Can you figure it out? Hmm. What did you say? I said I bet Dad's going to be really loud when he's yelling. Oh no, I hear Dad's car in the driveway. I may as well just get it over with. Leroy, you pray while I'm gone. Pray? 
For what? Pray that the person who got that cake will learn to tell the truth and not blame others. And pray that Dad isn't too mad at me. Okay. Bye. Oh, boys and girls, I just feel awful. Poor Lucy. I didn't know she'd get into this much trouble. I should have owned up to what I did. I don't want Lucy to get get yelled at by Mom and Dad and miss her party and her Girl Scout trip. Hey, Lucy, there's something I need to tell Mom and Dad. Wait up. I'm the snake that ate the cake, and I'm really sorry. I'll never blame others again for things that I do. Lucy, wait! Boys and girls, let's hope Lucy forgives Leroy. In Genesis chapter 42, verses 1 through 8, and in chapter 45 and 46, in the Old Testament, it tells us a story about Joseph, who we talked about last week, and his brothers. Remember we talked about food and what you like to eat? What do you like to eat when you're hungry? What is your favorite thing to eat? Listen to the Bible story and about some hungry people who brothers needed some food to eat. No food was growing where Jacob and his family was living. They would soon have nothing to eat. Then Jacob heard that they could buy grain in Egypt. Grain was just what Jacob and his family needed to make bread and other food. Jacob said to his ten sons, I want you to go to Egypt and buy some grain for us to eat right away. The ten brothers started on their trip to Egypt. When the brothers finally got to Egypt, they wanted to see the leader who was selling the grain. They did not know this leader was their brother, Joseph. The brothers hadn't seen Joseph since he was very young, and now he was all grown up and he was dressed like an Egypt king. When Joseph looked to see who wanted to buy grain, he was surprised. He knew the men standing in front of him were his very own brothers, one who sold him and lied about him. We have come to buy grain, the brothers said to Joseph. Joseph said to his helpers, bring these men stacks of grain. The helpers loaded the brothers' donkeys with stacks of grain, and the brothers returned home. But later, Joseph and the brothers returned to Egypt because they needed more food. This time, Joseph told them, I am your brother Joseph. The brothers were very surprised. And at first, they were very afraid. They thought Joseph was going to be mean to them and not show kindness and love. But they were wrong. They had been very mean to him, but now Joseph will show them love. And they wondered why. But Joseph hugged and forgave each of them. Take them plenty of grain home. Joseph said kindly, Then hurry back here, bring our father Jacob, and bring all of your families to live with me here in Egypt. Soon Jacob, Joseph's father and brothers and all of their families came to live with Joseph. They have must have been very glad to have been together again. When Joseph's brothers have been very mean to him, how did Joseph show them love? How did God help Joseph forgive and show love to his brothers? God helps us to show love to others too. Have you shown love to others today? Who are some of the people you can show love to and help? Let's thank God for his love and his help, and always be kind to one another. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoy this lesson today. Let's think about it. Let's sing one more song about love and kindness. Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see. When my Lord is living in me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Never more will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed Bible Hour this morning. We sure do miss you. Throughout this week, remember to show love to everyone you know. Bye! Bye.